There's a lot of benefits for children as well as adults singing in choirs. But they find children that start singing in choirs at a young age develop team building skills, mm -hmm. which is really valuable. It teaches them how to connect with others. It teaches them how to listen to others mm -hmm. and to work in harmony with each other. This is a valuable tool that they'll take into their life and be able to become a whole individual, someone that feels confident when they're speaking with each other, as well as become a bit more intuitive because they're having to develop listening skills. They can utilize that throughout their whole life so that they can have empathy for the other person and be able to be a support to others. They find that adults that grow up that had choir training when they are really young become adults that are active in the community. They become better humanitarians. They participate in charitable organizations, are more apt to be volunteers and become leaders in their communities, surely from participating in something as simple as joining a choir when they're young. That's very beautiful. Well, speaking of uh, charity, you're forming a nonprofit that's all about healing through the arts. Yes. And um, I, I think you mentioned that you felt like your mom gave you the gift that life should be a work of art and you want to give this back. So talk about what, a little bit more about what you'll be doing with this nonprofit and so forth. I, I'd be more than happy to share it with you. And I'm really enjoying being on your show and who you are and just mm -hmm. the light that you shine actually throughout the world with these shows. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually just, <clears throat> I, I don't know if people, people from uh, literally all around the world watch this on the internet. And it, it's really an amazing vehicle that here we are on a community television station, but it's, it's going out on the internet all over and watched all over the world. Yeah, so. and really I can't express just how beautiful that is that mm. you came up with this idea and followed through with it and are living your dream. On Maui we have a little saying about him how he's like the Oprah of Maui. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, I, I like that. I'll take it. Okay, good, good. Well, going back to uh, the nonprofit that we're putting together, it's called Legendary Voice. And the purpose of it is, again, I'm really big on children's education, and of course children of all ages, big and little. And what it is is that I feel through the arts and positive education, because something I infuse in my teaching is positive education, where we don't focus on telling people when they're doing things wrong, but we really focus on when they're, when they're doing it right and they're really nailing it, right, and they're really getting it. We find, and through research, through major universities, they find that if you utilize positive reinforcement in your teaching, then the process of learning speeds up 50% just by focusing mm -hmm. on when people are doing it right as opposed to a more negative approach of no, don't do it like this, right? It's the approach of you're doing it right and really making them feel great about it. And what they do is they lock into that feeling of, wow, this makes me feel really good. I know I can do it. And that's the kind of attitude that I like to infuse and develop in my teaching and in my practice and in this nonprofit that we're developing currently which is gonna encompass all of the various types of arts, whether it's singing or playing an instrument or acting or dancing or literary arts or visual arts, that these can be vehicles to uplift, inspire, give hope, and really enrich people's lives. Mm. Mm, that's wonderful. You have a, um, I, there's some connection I think that you've had with Australia, haven't you? In the past, yes, yeah. I was. I lived in Australia for a number of years, and I found that it was a great catalyst for me, not only for studying, but I toured out of Australia and appeared on Good Morning Australia as an artist singing, and really enjoyed that experience. Yeah. So yeah. was it was that a good 
period of your life? Australia. I love Australia. Uh -huh. I think it's a wonderful country. It is. It really is a wonderful country. It was a great platform for me and a good foundation. I uh, was able to tour out of Australia and did a multitude of things. I had another business when I was there. I would tour and you know traveled all over the Pacific Base in Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, Malaysia, and toured all over Australia and was sponsored by the Australian government, the New South Wales government, mm -hmm. to do interactive children's musicals with a message, again with a positive message uh, for children. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, very, very, very cool. And what are some of your hobbies? What are some of my hobbies? Well, I am really into health and healing, and that goes along with with being a good singer, that singing, with singing, you are the instrument. You, and the better you take care of your instrument and understanding how to take care of it, the better you're gonna feel and the more beautiful your voice is gonna sound. So I like to dabble in gourmet healthy foods. That's something you're, I love to I, do. I, I have sampled your cooking and it's delicious. Oh, thank you very much. That's quite the compliment coming mm. from you. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I like to dance. I trained in a number of different dance styles and have created my own style of dance that, uh, again, is using different types of hand gestures to relay stories, giving hope and wholeness and inspiration through dance as well. So that's something that I really enjoy doing. And of course, writing. I've got a film coming down the pipeline. The film is based on women artists and them finding their spirituality, their bliss, their enlightenment, whatever you want to call it, through their art. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful projects. And um, just want to again mention that uh, your new CD, uh, Mystic Love, which you did with your partner Bruce Beckfar, is uh, it's uh, going to be, it, it is Grammy considered? It's coming up for a Grammy consideration, which right, is wonderful. really exciting. And uh, it's, it's really, it's a project of love. Whenever you're doing music and being able to infuse into it just your emotion, your artistic expression, it's, it's like having a child in some ways. Using most CDs, all artists will tell you it takes nine months to take it from start to finish. And it's really, it's a very beautiful project. The music is inspiring and it's, it kind of fits into a number of different genres, but primarily, my goal with all of the different types of art that I embrace in my life is to really open up the heart to being inspired and really living our fullest and being the best that we can be each moment of every day with each breath. I can't think of a more perfect note to end on, speaking of a note. So we're going to, uh, you'll see as the credits roll at the end, we're going to play out the show with Mystic Love. So keep watching, keep listening. And Lonnie, I so appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, thank you. I think you're just a, a wonderful human being and I really appreciate having you on Maui and on this show. Thank you, and you as well. From one, they always say it, it takes one to know one. <laughs> wonderful. And you're extraordinary, thank you. Thank you so much. So that's it for this episode of Life on Maui. Wonderful show indeed. And um, stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, aloha.